In this video, I'd like to show you how the character editor works, and I'm going to walk you through how to make a realistic character and show you some of the controls. Okay, so at the beginning, you can pick between 40 base um, character face rigs. And that's the only thing you cannot change later in the game. Notice here it says biometric customizations can be changed. You can do that later in the game to go to specific areas to remodel your character. However, the one thing you cannot change is the base rig over here. So that's the one thing you have to carefully pick at the beginning. But game does a pretty good job of giving you some really random faces that, that look really nice. And you can heavily modify them too. Well, for this example, I'm going to pick face number 17. Okay, I'm going to pick this one. Then we click on body. Now, first I'm going to go for the body shape, so I keep it at central. So first I'm going to do the face instead of the body. The body type is, well, it's the sex of the character. Walk style, that's the male walk style and the feminine walk style. I'm going to take the male one. Skin tone, one. Okay, now I'm going to set up the basics. First, I'm going to block out the facial hair and then the stuff that's really prominent on the face. For this guy, he's going to be completely bald. Hair color doesn't matter, I guess, for that. Facial hair, I like to keep the, the mustache. The facial hair color is the same. Now, before I do the eyes, I'm going to do the head shape. And i got to find head shape, okay. Now again, you can, you can pick between some basic presets, and you can refine the presets further over here. So I'm going to take head shape one, I think. And look at it from the center. And I'm going to give it a bit more, a bit of a rounder face like that. Facial hair color. Take three, that's darker gray. Now let's see for the eyebrow color. I'm going to pick eyebrow color. I'm going to pick three also so it matches the color. Okay, as you can see, it's going to be an older gentleman, but I'm going to heavily tweak the appearance of the skin and all of that. Okay, now let's see. Now the eyes are a really complex thing because that, that, that really makes or breaks the way your character looks. So this part of the, of the editor has a bit more complicated um, complicated controls. Okay, let me see. Just using a reference picture off screen that you can see. Because I modeled the character like this and I want to make a similar one right now. Okay, now for the eye shape, you can again, you can pick a basic preset. There's quite a lot of them. And notice a lot of those don't match the, the, the structure of the character's face because they're blended in from, from another character, I think. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to go for eye shape number one. Now here it gets complex. So first you have this over here. Now you got to be careful with these controls. These controls never reset. So if you mess up these things and remember how it was, you have to reset the character. So for example, go up down here. Okay, these never reset. The shape lens will actually reset, okay? So as for eyes, I'm going to go for medium over here. And narrow wide, I'm going to go, instead of making them too narrow, I'm going to give them some space between them, like this. And eye scale is basically the, it's, I think it's literally the scale of the, I don't know you call them in English. Uh, of the eyeballs. So it doesn't look so small in the head. Okay. And back forward is how deeply in the head they are. So I'm gonna go further forward, so go deeply inside. Now shape lens is a bit is a bit complicated. Okay, now see if, if I go over here and I change the preset, you go back to preset one, it remembers what I had as choice over here. Or oh, the shape lens is a bit more complicated. Now shape lens, I think, um, in, in the relation of this character editor, that basically blends from, from other eye shapes they scanned to put in. So for example, let's say, notice I'm moving this one up, the other ones go to zero. I move two up, notice here, the other one goes down proportionally. Okay, this way you can mix and match certain eye shapes you can use like that. <laughs> For this one, 
remember, if I remember correctly, I did it like this. What is here? This eye shape really appears to fit into the shape. And I think it's called, is it called hooded eyes if the, um, if the eyelids are covered by this? <clears throat> okay, this already has some, there's some emotional heft in his eyes. Like he's regretting the things he did as a young man. <laughs> like, like, you gotta put some character in your characters. So if they're the smooth-skinned superhero, it, it just doesn't look that interesting. Okay, let's go further. Now for eye color. Again, you can pick many crazy colors here. I'm going for number 10. It's like some faded green because he's an older guy. Go to eyebrows. <clears throat> Again, you have presets you can pick. I like three presets. And you can go up. You can go down if you want. Go further down, it doesn't look so wide-eyed. Because wide-eyed eye sockets, that's more a feminine thing. Men tend to have like narrow eye sockets in most cases. But you, also, you can also overdo it sometimes, okay? So for this case, I like to have them like narrow like that. But be careful, because the thing is you get addicted. You can call it addicted. It's more like you pick a certain setting, and then you go into more intensity, and then you get used to that intensity of the setting. And then you end up with characters with two extreme features. <clears throat> Back forward, I think. Yeah, I'll keep it like this. Okay. Okay, now nose shape. I think I'm going for more straight uh, Central European straight nose. <clears throat> Okay, now for the nose, I'm going to see if we can find a normal, something that fits the rest of the shape. Yeah, I think that's a fitting nose. The nostrils in out. Make it a bit narrower. I like to shape up like this. Okay, ears didn't touch because there's usually a feature that, that doesn't show up that prominently. Okay, now cheeks. Again, that's cheek shapes. I'm looking for something, I think in English the term is gaunt, something more narrow and fallen in a bit. Also, the different presets might have different skin texture patterns that you can mix in into other things. So that's also something to look out for. It, that's a bit too hefty. I want to look to look old, but not too old for this thing. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should keep cheeks at seven. Oh, let me see. Actually, I keep it at one. I think mouth shape. I keep at one. Yeah, I like the, the white jaw and, and the white hair like this. I think the proportions fit well like that. Because the point here is, you don't want to make the character like super perfectly attractive. You want to make him look like a real person with some edges to it. Because if you just make a, somebody with really th smooth skin, fantastic hair and no blemishes, you end up with some uh, boy group member. And that can get boring depending on how you want to play it. Okay, now there's not much to do at neck over here. That's a, just keep it at default. Jewelry, no jewelry, no damn aesthetic. Now that, that's really interesting because it's not just uh, 
skin color, it's also... What is here? It's some type of blemishes and artifacts on the skin. So keep that at medium. Thermostatic at 15. Now complexion, color temperature is basically, I think, uh, some skin tone difference. And I think I think it's called vitiligo, some skin condition like this. Keep this at 1, 2. Now complexion, blem blemishes, now that's where it, gets interesting. It, where it gets really interesting. Because it's not just blemishes, you can also abuse it for something else. What I like to do here is... Some people that couldn't look like blemishes. For me, it looks like it's like unshaven. Okay, so it's like this <clears throat> full mustache with some unshaven hair next to it. Let's ramp up the intensity so we can see it better. See, it looks like a five o'clock shadow beard. Just gotta get the color right. Because it's a great helper to get an unshaved character that is. Uh, that's. This gray, I think, and yeah, I'll take this first gray. So I like this, this unshaven looking guy. Now I didn't use any <clears throat> any scars. You can do what you want here. Now most players will probably go for that Witcher over the eye scar because that's one of the cooler looking scars. It's gonna lower the intensity, so so it's just a small scratch, some imperfection on the skin. But I'm gonna leave it without. You know, facial forms, again, is a great helper for different systems. Facial forms 1 and 2, I got at 11 and 8 on my own other character. Those are basically, I think, additions to different parts of the skin. 11 and number 8. See, number 8 is basically, I think it's called an English crow's feet. Some wrinkle around the eyes. Again, don't overdo it too much. Like, let it blend in softly into the world. Like this. Also be careful if you mouse over and you go over here and you mouse over too far to the left, then you end up in this screen. You start modifying that again. Yeah, that's some some acne burns or something. Let's give it a really so you can barely see it, because in game if the lighting gets really harsh, it, it really really stand out. So you have to so you can barely see the thing. That's that's even too much. Let's give it like this. <clears throat> No, eyeshadow is more something for the girls. However, wait, where is it? Do I have anything on the cheeks? Let's go for eyeshadow lower. I got number three. Again, first I'm going to increase the intensity so I can see what it is. And go for some dark. And then I'm going to lower the intensity. So it looks like he has dark sags, sags under his eyes. So he's been to some places. Has already bought things that you haven't even known yet. <laughs> yeah. I want to go back to the um, to the jawline. Tweak that a bit. Let's narrow it down a bit. Let the, the jaw corner, and let it drop down a bit more here after. So it doesn't look too perfectly chiseled, so it's like some character to it. Also think that thermostatic needs to be a bit darker. Yeah, like this. Add to his cheeks. The cheeks is basically the redness of the cheeks and, and how colored they are. And dirt is basically how dirty you want the character to be. The problem is, why should your character always be dirty in the face? Okay, if he's walking in some dirty place, but if he's like just walking around the city, he's probably not dirty. However, you can abuse or repurpose that setting for something else. So it's given, first, you go intensity full high, so you know what it is. 
you check the color what you want you can like lower the intensity so it's just another layer of imperfections on the skin that you can use like this but you have to be really gentle with it like so you can not even notice it's there the one thing I want to do is change the mouth shape a bit Maybe something with the cheeks yeah a bit more gaunt like this Keep it up here, scale up down, Let's make it a Let's keep it like this here, and now for the mouth, another bite over bite, that's a bit too much extreme for that shape. Give it a bit more on the bite. Something is bothering me about the eyes, it looks too terrified. Let's see if I can change that a bit. It's something that narrows the eyes a bit more. And now, it's, now it looks less wide-eyed. Now it looks a bit more like a more neutral facial expression. But it's, notice if, you, if you're going up with it, it's too much. So I need that eight, but as eye shape, but also need something that narrows it down a bit. Now that's an intense stem. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to max out number three, see if that is something. No, that's... I think I'm going to go mix between seven and eight. So really high eight. And it's too wide out, so I'm just going to... Yeah, no, I think I like the, the way it looks like this. And one final touch I'm going to give it, I'm going to go back to body. And I'm going to give it, give him some weight to the face. See, so if you go full heavy, it's basically really fat. You can mix it between heavy and thin and how intense the overall thing should be. We can go for muscular, <clears throat> muscular and heavy or muscular and thin. So I'm just going to go because it's a middle aged realistic person who doesn't work out all day. It's going to go for heavy. And without much muscle. So he's like a man that, that's... Because it also affects the face shape, see here. And I want that a bit of sag over here, so it looks a bit more realistic. Let's do a gentle amount of that. So, what do you guys think?